Hello and welcome to my art space. My name is Terry Hines and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to make a Valentine mailbox. Let's get started. We're going to start with the supplies for this project. Of course you'll need your glues. I have tacky glue and fabric tack here. The fabric tack works great for when I want to apply the flowers and the leaves to the decorations on the front of the paper heart. First thing you're going to need though is your box. Now this box is about mm, 7 by 14 by about 3 in my original mailbox which is a Xyron refill uh, box is about two and a half inches wide maybe seven inches wide but it's only 12 inches tall. If you find a box that's 12 inches tall then a piece of 12 by 12 scrap paper scrapbook paper works really well. Otherwise you have to add some at the bottom. But anyway, so you need your coordinating paper to cover your box. On this mailbox I have kind of a solid paper around the back and then the red uh, glitter paper on the front. I don't know if you can see that but there's red glitter in all the dots in between the circles. It's really pretty. Okay, so you get your box and we're going to start by cutting this mail flap in the front. So your doily is going to come down a little bit here. So you might want to go down an inch and a half from the top, inch and a half to two inches, and then cut yourself out a rectangle like this. Only on three sides cut it so that the bottom side you'll just score it across here and then it'll, it'll flip down nicely. So mine is about six inches by two inches and that's the mail flap so that you can put your mail inside your mailbox and then I'm going to take some paper and I'm going to cover the three back sides of my box and now we're going to apply the top paper just have the edges go right over smooth it all down now here I've added trim around the mailbox opening. I cut this trim off of the matching scrapbook paper and it works really well. So I just kind of pieced it around by cutting edges at an angle for the corners. And now I'm just going to add this one little piece right here, kind of like for like a latch to open the mailbox. There. So I've got that trim on. The next thing I need to do is put my paper on my top of my box. Now if you'd like to put something like a vintage doorknob in the top of your box, you'll need to cut a hole right in the center. And the way I have measured that center is by cutting a piece of paper the exact size of the top of my box. I then folded it in half and cut this corner so that I would have a little circle when I open it up. And I use this template to draw the circle on the top of this box. And now I'll just cut that circle out before I cover it up with pretty paper. Now we have the paper on the top and we are going to apply, we are going to apply this doily so that just a bit of it goes over the top and the rest goes over the back. So it's going to look like that. I'm going to run the doily through my Xyron machine and it'll apply adhesive evenly to the back. It'll just make it quick for me to do. But you can use regular tacky glue to do that. Okay, so I have the doily on the top and now I'm going to apply the doily on the front. And then the real fun begins. I'm just going to line this up. Let's start embellishing the front of the mailbox. I'm going to begin with the florals in this corner down here. That way I'll know how much room I have for my chipboard letters when I'm done. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go right ahead and put a little bit of tacky glue on the doily. Or I should call it fabric tack. And I'm going to get my flower started there because it takes a little bit of time for that to set. And I know that I want my leaf to go at the bottom here. So I am also going to put some fabric tack on the leaf and then just set that right underneath there like that. 
And now I can add other embellishments. I have some of these little beautiful flocked flowers. They are definitely vintage. And I'm going to take some of them. I'm going to put some tacky glue on them. And I'm just going to kind of tuck them right under here like this. Arrange them the best I can. And then I'm going to also use some regular tacky glue. And I'm going to apply some German scrap up here as well. Just kind of tuck the German scrap up under the flowers. I like the mix of the real flowers and the German scrap. Now I'm going to add my pearl button to the center of my flower. I'm also using the fabric tack for the pearl button. The fabric tack can be a bit stringy, so when I'm done with my project, then I'm going to go through and pull the strings from the glue off. And now just a few more embellishments with this part and a little bit more tweaking. Get my flowers the way I want them. I think I would also like a little rosebud. This is a little vintage rosebud. Again, I'm going to put some fabric tack on that, like this, and then I'm just going to tuck it under, under here. There, doesn't that look pretty? So I'm just going to keep building until I've got my florals just the way I want them. And now that I'm happy with my floral arrangement, I'm going to work with my bird. I have two little pieces of tiny vintage looking letters, a postcard and a letter that come from a dollhouse set that I ordered and I'm going to use these two pieces of letter. I'm just going to kind of like tack them together just a little bit with a bit of glue and then I'm going to put a bit of glue under the birdie's mouth so that the birdie can be holding the male in its beak. And then I'm just going to use a pop dot, one of these, to give dimension and height to the bird. And I think I'm going to put that right about there. Actually, before I put that on, I just remembered I would like to touch up the edges of the letter. It'll just make it stand out against the plain colored doily a little bit better if I edge this with gold. And I think that can work better. Now it's time to put our chipboard letters on. I'm going to get my German scrap ready. I think I want that. I'm going to stick my chipboard letters down, but I'm not going to push them down too hard just yet because I want to see how far they go. And here is my A and I. It kind of looks like that. So before I glue them down, I'm just going to kind of rearrange them until they're exactly where I want them to be and then I will adhere them. So here it is so far. I've got all the chipboard letters on. The flowers are all on. I've chosen the lace bow instead of the green bow. I think they both would have looked quite lovely, but pick this one for now. I've just painted these little feet that I got at Michael's, uh, cream colored. I'm gonna give them a little bit of a touch of gold on them. You could also adhere them with Aileen's Tacky Glue or Elmer's Glue. I think that would take quite a bit of time to dry, so I'm going to go ahead and use my glue gun as soon as I have all the feet done. And there they are, ready to go. I'll have a little bit of gold on them. I'm just going to put some glue in the corners and then set my feet on right up snug to the corner. Now the first thing I did on the top of the mailbox was to insert this vintage doorknob into the hole that we already cut into the box. Then I tied this this netting bow around it and created the bow, then squeezed this little rose underneath here, just tucked it right in with some of the fabric tack as well as a leaf 
and I'm adding some little extra flowers to go in here. And now the last thing that I did was to take this cutout from the scrapbook paper that I used to do the front and I just glued it on the back at the base of this doily. And there you have it, the entire mailbox.